are about to hear a romantic drama, Flash Girl, from Street and Smith's Love Story magazine, featuring the love story girl in the role of Gina Randolph. This is the love story of Gina Randolph, Flash Girl in the Sideshow. Now, a flash girl doesn't rate very high in the social scale of a carnival, but Gina is ambitious. So ambitious that as we find her now, she is just about to knock on the dressing room door of the star dancer of the troupe. Who is it? Rick, may I come in? Oh, it's you. Sure, come in if you want. What's on your mind? Rick, is it true uh, about you and Joan breaking up, I mean? Where'd you hear that? Spike just told me. That fool Spieler never could learn to keep his mouth shut. What did he tell you? He says you've got to find a new partner for your dance act. Is it true, Rick? Yes, it's true enough. I'm just as glad, though. Putting Joan through some of that routine was like pushing a broom around. She never could keep up with the taps in that modern number. Then you'll need a new partner. Why so much interest? Sure, I'll need a new partner. But what's it to you? Well, I, I thought maybe you'd give me a chance. I can do it, Rick. Honest, I can. You? Why, you're not a dancer, kid. You're just a flash girl, part of the Ballyhoo group. I know, but... Listen, going on as part of the feature dance act is a lot different than just standing out in front on a platform looking cute while Spike does his spiel. Oh, but I can dance. I can pick up a routine easy. I can follow any leader if you'll only give me a chance. I'm sorry, kid. It takes years of practice to make a dancer. You've got to be better than just good to put an act like this across. You've got to be an eye-opener. But you said that Joan... I said Joan had to be coached, but after she caught on, boy, she was all right. Anyway, Joan was an eyeful. Oh, you see how it is. You mean you, you won't even let me show you? Mahoney's the manager, you know. Anyway, he's already got someone in mind. But if you ask him, Ricky... See, I'd like to. You're a swell kid, Gina, but I can't. Yeah, I see. All right, let it go. Thanks for letting me talk to you about it anyway, Rick. Hey, wait a minute, Gina. Why all the tears? Oh, Rick turned me down. He isn't even giving me a chance to show him what I can do. Oh, Rick's a good guy, but he ain't quite himself right now, uh, after that blow-up with Joan. Maybe you maybe you should have waited a bit. Oh, if I'd waited, it would have been too late. Oh, Spike, he'll never look at me as anything but a flash girl. I guess I'm just on the wrong side of the tent. Well, I, I wouldn't cry about it if I were you. You're young yet. Your chance will come. You don't get from the platform outside onto the stage all in one jump, nor two jumps either, for that matter. That's what Rick said, but, Spike, I know I can dance. It's what I've always wanted to do. Well, uh, just keep your chin up. You've got youth, you've got looks, and... Rick couldn't even see that. He, he said if I was an eyeful like Joan... Say, you've got Joan beat hollow for looks. You're the real thing, Gina. Oh, <laughs> Spike. Oh, oh, now I'm getting the idea. It isn't losing the chance to be a dancer that makes you feel so bad. Well, Spike, what do you mean? You're not the first girl that lost her heart to that guy, Rick. He's sure death to the ladies. Although I give him credit, he don't give them much time. But between you and me, I think that's what caused the lead to fly off with Joan. She was crazy about Rick, and he couldn't see her. Uh, that way, I mean. Oh, poor Joan. Oh, but... Rick's wonderful, isn't he, Spike? Doesn't it thrill you and send little dots up and down your spine when you watch him dance? Well, I wouldn't say it does that to me. But if you feel that way about him, I'd fight. Tears won't get you anywhere. I don't know how I can fight, but I won't cry. That's the stuff. You'll get your chance someday. Just wait and see. Gina, uh, did you see Rick's new partner? Oh, is she here, Spike? Yes, uh, joined the show this morning. Uh, they've been rehearsing all afternoon. Who is she? Well, she calls herself Louina Lorner. Oh. Uh, at least that's the name she wants to be billed under. Mm -hmm. 
She's a kind of a platinum blonde. And all the boys and the lot are going for her like nobody's business. <laughs> well, I guess Rick will never see me now. Don't give up, kid. Close up, she ain't so hot. No? I think that baby face of hers is mostly put on with a trowel. She's an old-timer, you can see that. I wouldn't be surprised if she's years older than Rick. Spike, do you think Rick will see that? I don't know. If he don't, he's blind. Who are you talking about? The new addition to our little troop? Oh, hello, said. Yes, we're dis discussing Rick's new partner. Hmm. Rick better watch his step. That dame's dynamite. Oh, I guess Rick can watch out for himself. Oh, yeah? That's what you think. Don't you know who she is? No, who is she? That blonde is Two-Gun Dan's girl. Oh. Two-Gun Dan? You mean the racketeer? The underworld king? The same. Oh. They took him in last week for some killing mix-up. But they say he jumped bail, and if he walks in on Louina pulling this stunt with Rick, well... Oh, pulling what stunt? She's just Rick's dancing partner. That's all there is to it. Yeah? I'd hate to have to explain that to Dan. You, you mean you think you'd make trouble for Rick? Well, if you call getting filled with lead trouble, that's what I mean. When he thinks a girl's walked out on him, two-gun Dan don't fool. From the way Rick was looking at Louina this afternoon at rehearsal, he thinks she's pretty hot stuff. And if Dan catches him at it, it'll be just too bad for Rick. Well, I gotta go and change. I'll see you later. Spike, what do you think we ought to do? Do you think we ought to warn Rick? Well, I, I've never known it to do any good offering advice where it's not wanted. Uh, Rick wouldn't believe you if you did tell him. I suppose that's true, but... Spike, it seems as if we ought to do something. Well, I guess the best thing to do is to just let it ride. After all, Rick's opening with her tonight. Maybe he'll get on to the dam before Two-Gun Dan gets out of jail and starts shooting things up. Cheer up, kid. You better go and get dressed. We've got to be out on the platform for the Ballyhoo in about 15 minutes. Gentlemen, this way, step right up. On this platform outside, you'll get nearly a glimpse of what lies before you inside. Beautiful figures, curves you'll remember right this way. You'll see the beautiful number where the girls shed their glittering wings. You'll see the patriotic number. It'll lift you out of your chair and have you cheering. And ladies and gentlemen, you'll see Ricardo and Luina, world's famous Tepsicorea Nazis, marvels of the age. See them tango. See for the first time on any stage the famous dance of death. This way, ladies and gentlemen, step right in. Gina, did you notice that big guy in front? Yes, I did. His face looks familiar. I must have seen his picture in the paper sometime. That's it. That's who he is. Two Gun Dan. Oh, Sadie, are you sure? Well, his picture was in the papers when he was linked up with all those killings. Killings? Oh, Sadie, if he gets inside and sees Rick and Louina... Well, he's inside, all oh. right. He was one of the first to buy a ticket. Gina, where are you going? i got to get out on the stage and warn Rick before he starts his number. It's too late now. There's their music. They're starting the act now. Sadie, I've got to do something. Oh, it, it may be all right. Maybe he won't shoot. Come over here. Maybe we can see him in the audience. Yeah, yeah, there he is in the third row. Oh, if I could only catch Rick's eye. Well, stand right here. If he looks up, he'll see you, all right. Oh, Sadie, he won't look up. He's certainly all wrapped up in that dame. He's putting everything he's got into that dance. Boy. He's certainly got what it takes. Oh, Sadie, if it only look up so that I could signal to him. Bad chance of his looking up now, the way he's looking at that girl. They're just dancing what they feel. Anybody can see that. Sadie, we've got to do something before it's too late. I wonder how Dan's taking it. Gina! Gina, look! What? Dan's standing up. He's reaching in his pocket. Gina! Gina, where you going? Come back here! That guy's got a gun! Rick! <laughs> Gina! 
Nina! Nina, what's the matter? Good Lord, she's unconscious. Help me, someone. Now, you just lie still. You're in the hospital and everything's going to be all right. Oh. What happened? Well, I guess you kind of got yourself in the way of a bullet at the wrong time. Oh, oh, oh I remember now. Do you think you're well enough to have a visitor? Uh, a visitor? Yes, he's been waiting outside ever since they brought you in. Just a minute. You can come in now, but you can only stay a minute or two. Thank you, nurse. I'll be back in just a minute. Oh, Rick. Gina. I suppose you know you saved my life. Oh, don't be silly. No, it's true. If your arm hadn't gotten in the way of that bullet, it surely would have been curtains for me. <laughs> I'm glad I could be of some help. Some help? I'm glad it was only your arm and not your leg. Why, what on earth do you mean? Well, if it had been your leg, you never would have been able to dance. <laughs> would that matter, Rick? It would matter a lot. Don't you know, Gina, you're going to be my next partner. Your, your next partner? But, but Louina... Oh, she's gone. I've already told Mahoney I won't go on until you're ready to go on with me. Oh, you told him that? Oh, oh I understand. You, you just want to repay me, to thank me. But I won't let you do it that way. But, Gina... No, Rick, I, I realize now what you said was true. It takes years to be a dancer. I'm only a flash girl, a little nobody. You mean you won't be my partner? Oh, it's wonderful of you, but I know I'm not good enough. Not good enough? Listen, I'm the one who's not good enough. To think I was such a dud, I didn't see how beautiful and brave and sweet you are. Spikes told me how you can dance. You will be my next partner, Gina, or I won't have one. Why, Rick, I... I'm not asking you to be just my dancing partner, either. Gina, I'm asking you to be my partner in every way. Oh. I love you. I didn't have sense enough to see it before. Will you be my partner, Gina, dearest? My partner for life? Yes, Rick. For life. You have been listening to a romance featuring the Love Story Girl and presented with the permission of Street and Smith, publishers of Love Story magazine. Listen for the Love Story Girl in a new romance next week. Thank you.